Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm here with Virgo's reading for the month of September. So if you have any placements of Virgo in your chart, this reading is for you, whether that being moon, rising, sun, Venus, wherever that placement may be, then maybe there's a message here for you. If it happens to be a cross watcher and you stop by my video, maybe there's a message here for you also, okay? Sorry I didn't do the August reads. I was busy doing other things and taking time for myself. I don't always do the intuitive reads every month. It depends on how I feel, um, if I feel the energy, if my intu intuition wants me to, or if I'm too busy, then I may just delay it. Um, I did open a new Abundantly Spiritual Etsy shop. You could get tarot read there. I can give you a full tarot read there. You just have to purchase a tarot read, and I will send you a video of your tarot read depending on what situation you're questioning about, okay? I do have spells there also. If you're interested in that, go ahead and look at my Etsy shop. Again, it's Abundantly Spiritual. Okay, Virgo, this is your reading for the month of September, okay? And I feel your overall energy is the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're the Queen of Swords because you are being clear and concise with your choices. You're being clear and concise with your information. You're just making sure that everyone involved is clear as clear as it can be. I feel like you just want to make sure that everything is clear and that you want to make sure that everything is communicated. You want to make sure that you, you're you telling people what it is that you want and what it is that you need, okay? In a situation, whether it be with a job, with a business, whatever it is that you're working on, I feel this is you just standing up for yourself and being clear and concise of what it is that you want and need, okay? I'm going to go ahead and turn um, the camera down so you can see your reading but first i want to let you know that the oracle cards the first one i i pulled out was from the oracle white light oracle which i love and archangel michael which is my favorite too always like praying to archangel michael and asking for assistance in all situations okay so here goes your cards i'm going to bring it down um the first card I got is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is about standing up for yourself and what it is that you want and need. The Seven of Wands is letting know people, letting people know this is what I need, this is what I want, this is what I'm standing up for, and this is what I need you to give me. And unless you're offering that, I am not putting down, you know, this rod here. I am standing up for myself and what it is that I need. I feel like you're looking for something more traditional or something that's balanced. You're gaining knowledge about a situation also. The Hierophant card came out. And the Hierophant card is really gaining balance about a situation, thing, or person, okay? Really coming into all the knowledge you can about the situation so that you can make a decision. Or at least know what it is, you know, what it is that you need and want from the situation that you're in, okay? I see there's a four of cups here. There's three cups in front of you and there's a fourth cup being offered to you but i feel like at this moment whatever is being offered to you is not what you want at this moment i feel like you're not getting exactly what you want because you're looking for something more traditional as you can see the hierophant came out in your reading okay so there's something that you're looking for more traditionally i feel this this reading has to do with a commitment a relationship or something brand new that that's being offered to you that you're still trying to gain as much knowledge as you can possibly about the situation okay I see the Knight of Cups in reverse. So whatever situation is coming in is not to your liking. Yes, you're being offered something, but it's not something that you want or you feel you can invest in. That's where you're getting the knowledge, you po all the knowledge you possibly can. And you're looking for something more traditional, something that's going to offer you balance. If it's a new commitment, you want a commitment that's going to offer you that marriage, the, 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 the traditional you know, grounded, balance of a, a relationship. And that's what you're looking for. Moving in together, maybe. Possibly building together. And that's what you want from this situation, okay? I see the death card in reverse because I think this the situation is going to be around for longer than you hoped it to because you're still really trying to make a choice. I feel it's not exactly where you want it to be because you're looking for something more tradition. But at the same time, you're not going to let it bring you down because of the card that you get. The Nine of Swords, okay? So you're not going to let it get you down right now. But if the situation doesn't, if, if it doesn't change, I feel you're going to walk away from it, okay? So I'm really feeling that this situation right now, it's in a new beginning. I don't know what it is that you're dealing with, whether it be a job, a business, or a relationship. It's in a new beginning phase. And it's not exactly where you want it to be. And if it's a relationship, it's not exactly the type of relationship you want because you're looking for a full-blown commitment. 
something you can build together, move in together, live together, something you can, um, someone you can marry in the traditional sense, okay, if it's a relationship, okay, but you're not letting it get the best of you, but if it doesn't work out to be because you're coming in as the queen of swords, you're going to cut it out. If it does not work out to be the way you want it to be, then you're going to cut it out and you're going to walk away. Okay, so this is your overall energy for the month of September, Virgo. I hope it resonated with you. Same thing if it's a business, if it's a job, if it's not to your liking and it doesn't give you what you need and it's not a balanced situation, then you're going to walk away from it also. Okay, so your overall, your um, Oracle cards, their energy that we have here is detached from the situation, detaching from it and really not having great expectations, but knowing what it is that you want. You can detach from something and still know what it is what you want. Detach from an outcome, but still know what it is, what you want, so that you can make a decision if you're going to move forward. But this is from the Archangel Michael. Let's read the prayer. It says, Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama or drama so that I may be create centered, so that I may be centered in the knowingness, the peace that peace is everywhere within me and in this situation. Then you have forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. It says, I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you. Archangel Michael for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. Last but not least, you got number 39. And that's the Ivory Wish Fulfilling Crow. Let's read the message for that one. If I could start. Oh, here it goes. My message book. So that's number 39, and it says, let's read it very quickly. It says, you can have what you truly want. Such knowledge helps soften and release fear, grasping control and doubt. Have confidence that the universe hears your prayers and is even now leading you into that which you seek. You can take sanctuary within your spiritual connection whenever you need stabilization, stabilization and protection against the fluctuations of the external world. No matter what is happening around you, there is a way through to the fulfillment of your potential. Beautiful Oracle card. So knowing that there is a way through once, you know, once you, you let go of doubt and fear, okay? So you're coming in as the Queen of Swords, just being direct, being honest, communicating a whole lot, letting people know what it is what you want. And, and it seems like you want something more in the traditional sense, something that's going to feel balanced, something that's going to give you, you know, the groundedness that you're looking for in your life, okay? In whatever situation you're working on right now, Virgo. I hope this reading resonated with you. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful September. Love and light to you all. Thanks. Bye-bye.